we will launch with three fully fledged Let's fully go. Zombie I think that's deserving of a hot dab ladies. Today we're going to be going over five Fortnite YouTubers who've sworn. Ah! Okay, so I had um, I had a big script plan for this video, but I kind of accidentally forgot to save it after I finished it. Very brief, very like top of my head thought, so it probably won't be very well articulated if that's a word that makes any sense. Set one English, by the way. Also, I'm not allowed to just like show trailer footage. I don't think, otherwise I'll probably get taken down because that's what happens with other people, like especially last year. So um. I'm just gonna be careful of that. I pull, I pull a little trailer in the back corner or something, so it's not super obvious and I won't get struck down for it. So, anyway, let's just get right into the news. Ha! That's funny, right? Keemstar reference, funny. Hello. First thing I revealed, my man David Von der Haar, I mean my Lord Von der Haar, He just stepped out and he's like, "What up, party people?" And more Keemstar references. This needs to stop right now. So uh, the multiplayer was first thing announced. Uh, we got shown a trailer, and I thought it was just a bit underwhelming in my opinion. Obviously, I was a little hyped because it's Black Ops 3, but then I was like, eh, it's really not much to it. It doesn't look anything spectacular. But once I like, people are streaming it. I think Syndicate was streaming it. Some people made some videos on it. After watching them, I'm actually a bit more excited for the multiplayer. Um, the gameplay does look pretty cool. Um, more unique than I expected. Because I thought, at first, I thought, it was like, oh my god, it's the Black Ops 3 carbon copy with no jetpacks. But it's not. Trust, I've watched enough to see that it's not that. It's nothing like Black Ops 3. Or is a bit like Black Ops 3, I suppose. It's kind of like a hybrid between Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3. Which I think is really cool. Because they're two really good games. Especially Black Ops 2, which has the best multiplayer ever, in my opinion. Only Modern Warfare 2 fans fight me. I'll, I'm, I'm coming at you, boy. Why is the... I mean, what? So yeah, Treyarch multiplayer always lasts longer than all the other studios multiplayer. I got like Prestige 7 or Prestige 8 on Black Ops 3. World War 2, it's, it's, I got like Prestige, I'm not Prestige 2 yet I don't think. Um, and it's just like, I, I have faith in my boys Treyarch multiplayer, okay? Low Vondi, please dad, don't let us down on the multiplayer. So I'm excited for the multiplayer. Probably going to be playing it a lot more than, especially Infinite Warfare, uh, maybe more than COD 4. And definitely more than World War 2 as well. So multiplayer, that's a that's a thumbs up for me. But not like a massive oh my god, this is the best day of my life thumbs up. It's like a Hey, that's pretty good. That's what I give it a hey is pretty good out of ten. Also boots on the ground. It can it's weird though, it kinda looks futuristic y, but at the same time it's boots on the ground and it's kinda confuses my brain. It's like it looks like it's favourite in the future than Black Ops 2, but like a lot further back than like Advanced Warfare or any of the other jetpack games. So I don't know. The gun design is a bit. I, I'm not used to it yet. I probably like it eventually, but it's just confusing my brain. There's health bars. The health bars are just like what? There's health bars. That's that's not Call of Duty. But then it's like, hey, that was an Infinite Warfare. That game was bad. But it's like, okay, it actually makes sense and it actually works well with the game because the players have more health. So that's that's sweet, I guess. Also. I was at first skeptical about um, your health, you don't auto regen, you have to press a button. But after watching some gameplay and seeing some people's opinions that played it, apparently it's all good and it's actually better than what it was before. So I'm especially excited for that now, even though I was skeptical at first. Okay, now let's move on to the good shit, boy. Let's move on to zombies! This is just the reason I'm here, okay, zombies? Multiplayer is fun and all, zombies is like the real factor in which. Zombies is bad, I'm gone. Zombies is good, I'm there forever, boy. So, Zombies was introduced, a big puffs of smoke, and then Jason Blundell walked out and he's like, yeah, it's fog rolling in, my boys. And we're like, oh, good meme, go away. And uh, it's just introduced that our original cast, nowhere to be seen. Our original story, nowhere to be seen just yet. We, we got first shown to a completely new map, completely new style, and um, new characters and everything, but... Yeah, I'm just gonna start with um, the new characters. They look good. I'm excited for them. 
they don't show a lot of like you can't tell what they're gonna be like just from the trailers I mean you can get like a brief idea I suppose but not completely um, they look good I'm excited for them they remind me of the Shadows Weevil crew and the um, Victor's crew kind of mangled together also um Skull is the new bay yeah, obviously the new film Alchemy I'm a big fan to be honest um, it's sort of new and unique we haven't seen it in zombies before so Alchemy you get a thumbs up um, <laughs> I'm especially looking forward to where they take the new story because it's a completely separate storyline but I want to see also how it connects with the password story and um, that'll be inter interesting to see you know maybe we'll have Rick Toffin and Paul Paul again and ruin everything I've led up to on the Shadows of Evil map and I'm like ah thanks for doing everything I'll just take this and take it to goddamn Dryden Drac and steal Dempsey's soul I mean I think he actually steals Rick Toffin's stuff first I'm sorry, my my story knowledge is not up to date. Also, the announced the games are like extremely customizable now, which is something I've wanted for like quite a long time. Um, this is it's probably got me more hyped than a lot of things. It's like you can, it's it's gonna keep replayability up. You know, it's crazy things, customizable everything. That's all I ever wanted. Um, also, people are negative about like bots in um, solo games, but I think I think it actually be quite good. Um, if it's done right, I say, because um, the bots could ruin your game and make it just a bit like, what's the point in this? But even if it is like that, you don't have to use the bots. You can just be like, hey, did it if I ever want to use them. But you can also like have them for story like games, if that makes any sense. Games you're not playing to go for high rounds or anything specific, but rather for um, just like get your head into the storyline and what characters are like. You can hear them interacting with each other like you could in Black Ops 3. I always know me about Black Ops 3 though, the characters are interacting, but they never interacted in solo because there's only one player. And in multiplayer, you're talking to your friends and memeing around, so you can't really like listen to the character quotes and hear what they're saying to each other. So I think this is a really nice alternative where it'll actually work and make sense together. So I don't think there should be any negativity really going around about that. You don't have to play with bots, I assume, if you don't want to. Everyone was like, F, F, Call of Duty is dead when I got announced, but I don't think it's a big deal. I think it could be good. It could be like, eh, I was going to not do that, but let's hope for the best. Also, you know, um, having three maps at launch. Hello, never done before. Past all the competition. Okay, I'm sorry. I guess Transit kind of did it before, but not really. I mean, three maps, it's, it's insane. It's going to be three separate Easter egg ones going on at once. I have no idea how that's going to work. Boy, you know, actually, I'll come to it later. But there's a certain map I think I'm going to be playing the most. And it's not Blubber the Dead. And it's probably not mine. Okay, you know, I'm going to get to it later. It's okay. It's okay, Daddy. Also, having customizable games and free maps will help keep the content up until launch. As well as possibly having events which changes the game completely. It's just it's constant content flow everywhere. It's never sort of not to do at this point. It's going to be the greatest thing ever. We're not going to get burned out like we did with Shadows of Evil at launch because we have to wait like months and months for the next DLC because it like it eliminates the dead time in between releases and the DLC season so the initial release of the game initial release of the DLC season usually pretty dead in between that after like the first month but this time it's gonna be great also speaking of free maps three times three is nine I don't know why I did that voice okay nine or also known as IX I suppose and this is the first zombies map revealed. I thought if it's called IX or 9, I was going to stick on 9, it sounds better. I am losing my voice, actually send help. <laughs> but from what I've seen from it, it, it kind of looks like a survival map, which does worry me a bit, and I hope it's more than a survival map. It does look promising, however, with the new themes and the new type of zombies and stuff that are jumping around, and it, it, it looks pretty cool, okay? But I am the least excited for this map, however, because of this whole survival map thing, and it doesn't look like there's going to be much to the map. It also gave me some Assassin's Creed vibes, um, like, you know, Assassin's Creed around like the time of Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood, the best one, I mean what. Um, it's it's kind of giving me them so vibes, and I like that. I like the some Assassin's Creed games, even though most of the games are pretty awful. I do like myself a bit of Assassin's Creed. I'm not paying for my talking about. This is mainly due to the setting, and I actually like this end as well as the masks, but the setting, it's, um, I think it's possibly in like Rome or Egypt or something, which also, again, excites me, because they're two cool places, and very historically active, and that's pretty cool. 
So hopefully the map's not too linear and just survival based, like someone like Town or the Giant or something like that. I just said the Giant, I said the Dries, but you know what I meant, okay? So hopefully it's not too too linear. I want it to have like a nice big easter egg like any other map and it'll be great. Um, also, I don't want it to just be like restricted to inside the arena, like the middle of the arena. I want to go outside the arena, like through into the colors, out of the colors. I'm like, I don't know what I'm saying. I want to go like into the kind of place where they come out and I want to go into like all the stands and stuff and I want to see all the people. And that guy with the mask, I want to have like a boss battle with that dude, that dude seems cool. That sort of masks would also give me Assassin's Creed vibes because, you know, Assassin's Creed is pretty cool. And if this map is like just a survival map, um, and it's like nothing much more than that, it's going to lead me onto a voyage of despair. The second map revealed at this event. Probably the most excited for this map to be honest, and that's mainly because of the setting, as it is set on goddamn Titanic, okay? Titanic! It's from Titanic, it's like... It's Titanic's ship, and you go, near far, and then it sinks and everyone dies, and it's great, okay? There's so much, so much potential for this, I hope they don't mess it up, because, I mean... It's like the map everyone never knew they wanted. Like, whoever thought, I want a Titanic map, not everyone's like, I want an Atlantis map. This is, this is literally just the map we always wanted, but never knew we wanted. One thing that does worry me though is it's on a Titanic which is quite compact in a way so I hope it's not all like tight corridors like the rock kind of feel. I hope there's like a lot of open space still, like training areas. Um, and I want to be able to explore, explore the entire ship. I don't know why I'm talking like this. But yeah, I want to be able to explore the entire ship. I don't want to just be like just like the top floor of the ship. You know, a bit on the balcony, um, a bit like in the luxury parts. I want to be able to go from like or luxury areas like down to like the middle class areas down to like the very poor areas it'll just be very interesting seeing all that contrast as I'm like I'm really into like that sort of history of the Titanic and other things like when the Darker Shore came out I done so much research into that map like it was located on an island I forgot the name I done lots of research and I forgot the name um damn I forgot the name you know what you know what I mean okay um, yeah, it was located on this island, I've done a lot of research into this island and I found out the map was quite historically accurate which really interested me. That's probably why the Dark Show interested me more than um, the new map, the Shadow Throne, that I haven't really played much. So I hope it is like historically accurate in a way that interests me. But at the same time I already know a lot about Titanic so it helps it sticks to that kind of formula of... I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Also, can we please have an... Easter egg related to the iceberg or some way, like the ship's gonna be sinking me like, oh no, we're gonna die, I have to escape sinking water and it's Titanic, be, that'd be pretty cool. Also, okay, let's listen to you, you probably haven't done this already, but my, I wanna see my man George Miro just chilling on the iceberg, okay, like literally chilling because he's cold, get it, ha, that's a funny joke, but I just wanna see him like chilling there with his big hammer, just being like, yeah, I'm George Romero, remember me? That probably be completely break the continuity of the story, but I don't care, okay? It's cool, at least Dragon George Romero on Iceberg. Who doesn't want that? Also, George Romero didn't alive during Titanic. That's English good. Yes, me too, thanks. <laughs> Lose my voice. So this map has a lot of potential. It could be huge, and I hope it is. I hope it's just the best map ever, okay? I think this is going to be the best map out of the three, but at the same time, like, I don't want them to mess it up and I'm very scared. Please Treyarch, don't mess this one up. Also, one last thing. You know swimming mechanics? Yet they exist for a reason, okay? And this map is the perfect time to make use of all these swimming mechanics you've made in Black Ops 3 and I think it was in Ghost as well. Just use the swimming mechanics to your advantage, okay? I want to be able to swim around the Titanic. Like, some parts are sunk so you have to swim through certain rooms and it's all intense and it's like... Please, please do this. Please, more swimming. Also, maybe swim away from George Romero when he's trying to murder me. I mean, don't do that. Just leave George Romero on the iceberg. And if this map is bad, I'm going to be sad. I'm, I'm, I'm basically going to explode. And you'll see me and be like, hey, hey, what's that? And I'll be like, oh yeah, it's me, I'm dead. And there's blood everywhere. And this is the, the blood of the dead. Is the mob of the dead remastered? It's, what can I say? It's the remaster of the best zombies map ever. But it's different. With with new story and stuff, and it's set between Zet and Grog Crovey, uh, when they get to the Mob of Dead Crew blood, which means, you know, because we're getting the Mob of Dead Crew's blood, 
We might have to be hunted down by the other crew. And ah, uh, it's, it's 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 cool. I want to shoot. I want to shoot Dal. Ow, he dead, son. Please. Ah, it's the mob of the dead. Mob of the dead's back. <laughs> I'm out of breath. But uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, mob of the dead's very promising map. And I, I just got very excited, and I think I had a blackout, uh, which is the new battle royale game being says this game. I'm sorry, I am. I forgot to breathe. You ever just forget to breathe and then you pass out? I have a blackout, which is the name of the thing. Ah, going back to my red, even though it's supposed to be a transition to blackout. We have another memory breakdown or something. I'm actually losing my voice. Like, please actually send help. Send my voice help. I don't know. I am actually dying. Ah. So, mother dead, blood the dead. It better be good. If you were mother dead for me, Treyarch, Bluntel. I'ma find you, B. So don't, don't ruin it. Mm. So yeah, so I was supposed to be like, I got so excited about the blackout, and I was gonna lead into transition to the blackout, which is the battle royale mode. I only did that, but went back to Mother and Dead, so I kind of ruined my transition. So sorry about the blackout. So, it's kind of too early to say much at the moment about blackout, but I'm glad to hear that. Treyarch are jumping on this trend surprisingly. And as much as I love Treyarch campaigns, I think I'll get a lot more playtime out of Battle Rail than a campaign, even though I love the campaigns, it's my favourite, and I've loved fun playing the campaigns, but it's like more more, more value for money in the, in the... Also, they did say they will include lots of parts of multiplayer, and possibly zombies maps from the Black Ops series in the map in the game, so it's kind of be like, oh, where are we dropping boys? Let's drop, let's drop Nuketown. Let's drop... Let's drop, um, um, what's that map called again? Firing, let's drop firing range, please. Nuketown's too highly populated. That's, that's like a really cool concept, I'm really interested in. Oh my god, I've nearly been talking for 20 minutes. Ah. Uh. So yeah, Battle Royale looks promising, but it can either be amazing or it could be awful. Please just kill Fortnite, to be honest. Fortnite's titan at the moment, and we have to attack other titans, it's gay, because it's anime weeb. And um, we have to fight back against Fortnite, even though I've played Fortnite quite a lot. I'm sorry, Dad. So this is kind of like Call of Duty's last chance. And if this game just flop, then I feel like the series is just going to be over. Because if Black Ops 4 isn't good, you better know I'm never buying a, a Call of Duty again. Now, this is going to be my last card if it's bad. And even if it's good, I'm probably not going to buy it. Whether like Infinite Warfare 2 or World War 2 2. <laughs> 2, -2. Oh, I really hope it's called World War 2 2. And it continues off to like the dreadful story of World War 2, the game. World of War was bad. <coughs> Victor Reznov, <coughs> where we dropping boys? Victor Reznov is where we dropping. Also, that's really cool being able to play as like the zombies characters or like campaign characters from past Call of Duties and Blackout. That's really sweet boy. Anyway, thank you Treyarch, I love you. Blundell, please, please, please daddy. Please, please, me. That's the Beatles song. I'm gonna play that for the outro now, because that makes sense. Please, please, me. Nah, nah, nah. If this game's bad, I'm gonna be sad. Nah, 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 nah. I'm basically laughing now. Nah, 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 nah. I'm gonna stop it now. The voice is actually. And I think I've actually had a mental deadness.